stumble no, across no. here? Uh, well, I push off my left leg, so I started and then I kind of just I planted and then I felt like a, a, a cramp. So I stopped running immediately because you know I just know like I don't know what it was and like I already I I, I already have like sore Achilles anyway because I mean I jump on both legs. So um, initially I just didn't want my Achilles to be ruptured. Um, and that, that's the one thing that I didn't want to happen. So and then when they ultrasound my Achilles, they said it's still there. It's not a big knot down there, so my Achilles is there. As they went up, they just said, you know, we don't see any tears or that in your calf. It's just, it just looks as though, like, you know, it's like kind of like micro tears, which, which is kind of like a, um, a strain. So if it's a strain, I'm happy. If it's torn, I'm not going to be very happy, but at least I still get to go be an be Olympian if I am an Olympian at the same time. So um, uh, I'm just glad that's not on my ankle and it's not, you know, in a position where I can't, you know, take care of myself. Um, muscle, like I said, muscle things are really good. Do they give you an indication when they're going to tell you? Um, well, I had to go drug testing after this, and the processing stuff is at my hotel, so once I get work from my agent or whatever, and I, I know exactly what's going on, then, you know, I'll I'll be the first one to know, I guess. How'd that 842 feel? It feels, you look like you still had a lot on the board, right? Um, yeah, um, I, I just, I, I kind of just, like, just washed out my whole mind. I, I, I was sitting at 11, so yeah. uh, I had to just kind of focus and say, you know, I need to get into the finals at least, so... Um, I ran down, I cleared my mind, you know, I, I worked really well on the pressure, so I, I ran down, I just kind of cleared my mind, I jumped, and it still wasn't a good jump as far as te technicalities, I was reaching and stuff like that, so I was going to come forward on my, on my, on my fourth attempt, but I hurt myself, so um, I, I don't know what could have been, I could have been up there jumping 28 feet with them, but, you know, I had to stop. So it was like a conservative jump, but it was still 40. Right, yeah, so, I mean, I felt good about it, yeah. even, even for it to be right around 80, 85%. Yeah. How, how did it feel to be part of such a big competition? I mean, it was just, people, guys just kept jumping out. Yeah, I, I knew that. I mean, our, you know, even though I feel as though the field events like long trip don't, don't really get a lot of love, it's it's a whole lot of excitement there. You know what I mean? Everyone kind of wants to focus on the sprints, which which they should. I'm not, not I'm not hating on one of those guys, but I mean, as you can see, all of this kind of goes forth. You I mean it was, I think what top six was 27 foot jumps and seven. So I mean, if you look at that and all that excitement. It's so much talent. I mean, this that's one of the hardest teams to, to make as well. You know what I mean? So, you know, you just got to respect it. I mean, I, that's why I knew coming in, I knew it would be tough. And I'm just glad that I kind of, you know, was able to kind of bounce back in, in time. Just point about potentially missing out of recommended that I shouldn't have tripped them this year anyway, so I wasn't yeah, even injured, yeah. mainly because of my ankles ran on my left leg, so, and I got to kind of, I guess, rework my body, because, you know, um, I'm moving so fast now in triple jump that I can't really keep up with myself, so it's, I'm just going to keep getting injury prone, so I'm going to go back to the lab with that, figure it out, if I have to drop it as an event in, in totality, then I guess you'll see me in the uh, 200, so. Did you know Will didn't have the standard like when he passed you? Um, I wasn't focused on standards or nothing like that. I was really just focused on jumping and winning. Um, I was sitting in first and then I knew Loss was going to come back. I knew Henderson is a jumper and stuff like that. But I wanted to really just make my statement and not let people like kind of doubt me and kind of think that I can't come back from a really crucial injury. I mean, I feel like no one kind of respected me kind of coming in because, I mean, they already saw that how, how bad my injury was and kind of no one kind of counted me in. But now that I'm, you know, uh, quote unquote Olympian, hopefully, um, I, I guess maybe I'll get a little more respect. Yeah, but did you realize your fourth place would get you in? Uh, no, I, I mean, I didn't know that until I was back there. I didn't know that, that uh, he didn't have the standard. I didn't start adding that up. Yeah, so, so you kind of, were you bummed out? Were you bummed out? Like, oh my God, I just missed Yeah, it. I was. I, I mean, I, I wanted to win, period. It right. didn't matter if I got third. I mean, third, I guess certainly is just as good as first, but first place is always good, so. I mean, and I don't get a medal, too, so I guess technically. So who told you? Were you down, like, with verge of tears? Did someone tell you you're in No, the I was actually more concerned about my leg than anything, but um, once I kind of went on my Twitter and I saw everyone was like, Will doesn't go because it doesn't have a standard, blah, blah, um, I started kind of, like, thinking back all of the long jump comments that, that he did. I was trying to figure out if he does have a standard, and I, it started to make sense that he didn't because uh, yesterday he only jumped 8, 8, 14, and he was entered with uh, 788, and, you know, he didn't really jump, you know, far in like anywhere else that I I know, you can't chase. So I guess it, it logically makes sense. But like I said, I want to hear that official 
you're on the team type of you know thing until I can say that I'm a living. Turning back to the competition uh, today, it was pretty windy out there at times, lots of right. time. How did that affect your steps and your approach? Um, I, had to, I had to move back maybe seven feet today, so maybe. thank you. I had to move back right around seven feet today because uh, I, I think my foul on my second jump was right around 28 feet. It was a four point on win, but you know, I didn't expect that. So, you know, I kind of, I just had to go back to drawing board. I mean, you know, I've, I've dealt with win at practice. I've dealt with win like on my other competitions. So it wasn't nothing, you know, unfamiliar to me, but again, this is hard to kind of like bow that, especially when I've been out for so long. Is this related to your previous injury? No, no, like this is my left yeah. ankle and this is my right foot. So, I mean, I'm good on this ankle, but like I said, you know, uh, I don't know what's going on, but I mean, I guess, cause I've been overcompensating on one leg. Maybe, yeah. Now, I mean, but I, I'm just bad that it's not like an ankle thing or a bone thing, where that, that, that takes a whole lot of time. Muscles, like I said, can, can heal really fast if I just take care of myself in, in, in the proper way. So has USATF people told you you're on the team yet, or just not yet? I haven't talked to anybody at USATF, yeah. but I mean I'm gonna do gonna go do go make sure, yeah, yeah. and hopefully I hear the word when I leave media and they say, oh, you know you're on the team because we're gonna make it. So I mean, I mean we'll hopefully keep our fingers crossed. All right, I don't know yeah. thank you, thank you. All right, mm -hmm. look.